Hi, I'm going to do a quick video introduction to Spectabit's digital Schlieren technology. There are three major components to this system. The first is the digital display, which you can see back here, and this is just a conventional digital television, the kind you can get at any consumer electronics store. This one happens to be an ultra high def model, but you can do it with standard high def or even standard definition. It tends to work better at higher resolutions, but it's a pretty flexible system. The second component is the optical system, which we call the S-Tube, and these both connect to a computer running our Schlur and View software. The main things you need to do to set this up are to connect the cables and then point the S-Tube at the digital display, making sure that most of the image of the digital display screen is seen by the camera. And at this point, I'm going to go through the software and show you how to calibrate the system. The first thing after you open Schlier and View is go up to the camera menu and select the camera. You want to select the camera that's attached to the S-Tube and not any other cameras that have to be attached to the system. Then you'll go up here to this little triangle up on the upper left and start the video stream. Then you go to Schlier and Display, open the checkerboard, and then we'll start focusing the back lens of the S-Tube. Not the front lens, but the back lens. Now, you want to get the lines on top of the checkerboard in focus, not the checkerboard itself. And you try to get these roughly evenly focused across the whole field of view. And once you get these focused, and this looks decent, you can go up here to the Schlier and Display menu and open the center mark. Now, you'll now focus the front lens and try to get the center mark in focus. You'll try to get the outer crosses and the inner cross all focused. And you want to see this general kind of pattern where you have these lines across the, the um, center mark features in focus and the lines should be sharp. Now, once you've got this focused, you go up to Calibrate Grid and it'll run this for a few seconds. And at this point, it's developing a mapping between the camera coordinate system and the display coordinate system. So it'll put some images up here and it figures out where they are, it does a bunch of math. And anyway, it's about done now. And once this is done, you'll have your first cut at a Schlieren background. Now you notice there's some fringes here. And because this is a fairly wide angle lens, there's some distortion in this. So we have a calibrate distortion feature that will actually fix these up. This is something we just introduced in the last year or so, and it improves the situation a lot with these wider angle lenses. If you have a longer lens, like an 85 millimeter or 120 millimeter, you might not need this, but it, it helps in a lot of cases. Now this is almost done, and at the end of it, you'll see that the field is much smoother than it used to be. And I'll turn off the correction here for a second to show you how much difference it makes. And I'll turn it back on. And you see, it's, it's, it really improves the situation a lot. Now we're actually going to start doing the Schlieren imaging. Now, we'll, you need to put a feature out here in the field of view. And you're going to use the back lens, not the front lens, but the back lens to focus on this. And you can already see some schlieren coming off of this, even without any background subtraction or gain. So this is pretty strong. Now we're going to do this with a canned air uh, artifact. And you, canned air is useful because it's pretty reproducible and it's strong. So it, it makes a good thing to test with. And that looked pretty good. So now we're going to turn on the background subtraction. The first thing you do is get a blank background and, and snap a shot of it with grab background image. And then you turn on the background subtraction with BG minus. And at this point, it's actually doing background subtraction with Schlieren amplification. And you can see the heat off of the hand is much stronger at this point. You know, this is actually a really sensitive Schlieren system. And when you put the canned air in here, uh, the contrast is you know, just enormous and completely saturating the system. And you can see you clearing off of the finger. But uh, so anyway, we have some processing options that you can set. I'm going to go over a few of the basic ones. The scale factor is essential to Schlier and gain. So it, at this point, it multiplies the Schlier and effect by about a factor of seven. And we had the grid blur turned on, and I'm going to turn it off now because it's not really necessary at this point. It's useful on some systems, uh, and it depends exact on the exact working distance, but in this case, we don't see 
too much of the background features that it eliminates. It's occasionally useful with uh, blurring out some of the graininess and high gain, but with the low gain, like what we have right here in a factor of two, you don't really need it much. And then it slows things down a little bit. And we also have an auto scale feature, which will automatically set the gain. I'm gonna turn that on here. And that will keep adjusting the gain according to whatever is in the field of view. If you have a silhouette, it'll generally turn the gain way down, but if you just have, you know, faint schlieren features in here, it'll turn the gain up to compensate for that. So you can see, like, really faint schlieren features, just the air moving around in the room. Um, so we turn the grid blur on a little bit here to remove some of that graininess because the gain's up around 11 or 12 right now. So as you can see, it's relatively simple to set one of these digital Schlieren systems up, especially compared to classical Schlieren systems, if you've ever used one of those. So anyway, if you have any questions, just let us know in the comments or email us at spectabit.com. Uh, you can also look around on our website. We have papers that describe the uh, exact scientific details of how this works. And uh, we've got some other videos, too, with different kinds of Schlieren objects that might be of interest. So thanks. Bye.